Welcome to another OS First Timer video. This time Diana will be trying out the most popular version of Linux ever called Ubuntu. Ubuntu 12.10. So this operating system can be run on a USB stick into your computer and you take your computer wherever you go. So stick it in. Into the I USB. can stick it in even though it's not on, can't Yeah, I? yeah, yeah. Okay. And now you turn your computer on. You have to stick it in before you turn the computer okay. on. Okay. And so to turn, turn it, on. it on, it's this, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then Linux will just start up. So this is the most popular version of the Linux, the most wide used, a bunch of you. And this is version 12.10, which was released 22 days ago, pretty much the same time as Windows 8. So this is pretty much a competitor to Windows 8, but it's totally free. So you wouldn't have to even pay for this. Well, let's hope it's better than Windows 8, because Windows 8 is crap. <laughs> you can rate it at the end. Um, the first version of Ubuntu 2004. But this is 12. Now, when the operating system first starts up, it shows a bunch of writing. And then, do you like the boot screen? That's all right. No problem with it. Okay. Speed wise, how is it? Do you think it's a bit slow booting up? Seems a bit slow, yeah. Now remember, this is just running on the USB, that's why it's a bit slower. Your hard drive's a bit faster than the USB. And just while we wait, this is a nice castle. There we go. Because <laughs> it was <laughs> taking too to long. It was taking too long. Okay. Now, um, we're just going to click try a bunch of you. can actually install a bunch of you straight from this onto your computer. We're just trying it off the USB. Which is a bit slower, but that's fine. Okay, and this is a bunch of you. So we've got the time up the top, which doesn't happen to be the correct time. So there's a bunch of desktop. There's some icons and a sidebar at the side. Yeah, I don't mind that because all those icons, uh, well, I can look, I can recognise Firefox. So and it comes with Firefox, you don't have to download it. Remember That's Windows 8? You had to try and download it and yeah. you got angry, so this comes with Firefox. You don't even have to download it. Well, it looks, so, it looks fine, but just the name of it, I mean, is it even in English? Mm hmm. Okay, now, so what do you want me to do? So, the first task, you, you've just got a new computer with a bunch you installed for free. The computer was pretty cheap, 200 bucks, because, you know, it's a bunch you don't have to pay 300 bucks like it for yep. you to, for Windows 8. So, you want to just customise it quickly and change your desktop background. I want to change the desktop background, okay. Um, I guess I could Firefox? go to Firefox and I could download something, couldn't I? Or, but there no. must be another... F wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, look, that's good. The way it actually... Yeah, when you go you over it, is. it tells you what the things are instead of trying to work out the hieroglyphics. That's really <laughs> good. Hieroglyphics. Software checker. System settings. I think it might be that. I'll just check workplace switcher. Oh gosh, how many are there? I That's think it. it might be system settings. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. Ah, okay. Well, that does this screen look sense. nice? Yeah. This look, it's it's more understandable than the. That if Windows you had to install this or Windows 8 on your computer, if you got another computer now and Windows 7 was outdated, would you install this or Windows 8? Let me just do this a bit more and let's see how I like it. Okay, so what I'm uh, trying to do, change the, the desktop background. Desktop displays. Maybe it's displays. Um, printers. Uh, Wacom graphics. No, that doesn't seem right. Management details. Backup. No. I think it. Oh, wait a sec. Appearance. Maybe it's appearance. I'll try that. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm going to choose that one. That's Does that look nice? nice? Yeah. Okay, and That's how would you quit it now? X, the which is very yep. logical. I'm used to that. Yeah. 
perfect. Okay. I is this it. seeming pretty easy? Yeah, it's logical. Now, let's... You don't need a great big degree or manual to work <laughs> it out. Yeah, it's just logical. Okay. okay next one. Um, so, um, simply go onto the Gmail website. You don't have to check your emails, just go onto the Gmail website. Okay, well I can't see any Gmail settings, so I'm just simply going to go to Firefox and do Gmail. Um, yep, that one. There we go, Gmail. Ah, perfect. Yeah, I can do this. This is really logical. Now, try and quit Firefox. Uh, there's no X there. That's a new tab. Um, why isn't there an X there to close it? There's no X up here. What does that do? Refresh the page. Um, so you were liking this operating system just until you worked out you don't know how to close Firefox? Oh, well, this is going back. But that's just back in the browser. Um, maybe if I click on something else. That's Firefox. Give me another instruction so I, then I can click on something else to get out of it. Um, write and save a text document. Okay, well, where would Office write? Oh, actually, I'd assume that would be... This is LibreOffice. It's a competitor to Microsoft Office, but the advantage is that it's free. You don't have to pay for it. Okay. So just write something. Okay. There we yep. go. Yep. Easy? Yeah, fine. Okay, now save it. Um, it doesn't have the thing up there with the save file. Oh, uh, wait a sec. What's that? Safe. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I like the way when you put it over the it, symbols, it, keeps on it telling you tells you what the symbols word. are instead of you having Guessing to... Guessing and clicking. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm saving it. I'll, I'll just call it um, document and I'll save it to the desktop because I want it on the desktop. Okay. Um, okay, and where's the save button? So you've selected the desktop, but where's the button to kind of confirm, yes, I want to save. That's it. That's maximised it oh. to full screen. Oh, well, it got rid of the other one. What? You wanted me to go and get rid of Firefox the other Firefox is still open. Um, oh, save. Here yeah. we go. Save okay. at the bottom there. I've saved Okay, there we go. Now I can get out of quit it. Quit it. But how do you quit Firefox? Um, I'm not sure, no. Start page, that's a start page. Oh, that's going to a new tab. Why does that have the X button and this one doesn't? That's actually a plus button, not an X. Oh, okay. Um, Where would the X button usually be? It would normally be up here, wouldn't it? That would in Windows. In Linux, it's reversed. So it's all on the opposite side. So here. But it's not doing anything. But what about the top of the window? Where, Where is the top of the window? The very top. The oh, you mean very here? top. Or, or there, Gmail. That's the top of the tab. Above that's the top of the window. Oh. You put your cursor up and then the I X see. appears. Okay, well, I guess once you you read that, in, in does it come with a manual? Um, yeah, it does. comes with instructions. Yeah. Well, I guess you'd... At least you don't have to remember so many things. Yeah, all you do there. is just click X. It okay, just hides it for the time being. There we go. One thing I don't like is hiding it. You just want it to be displayed all the to time? I want it visible so that you don't have to refer to instructions. Okay. Or... Now, you want to calculate. This is the second last instruction, then you're going to turn the computer off. You want to calculate what 680 times 45 is. Okay, well, I'd normally go to the calculator icon. So in Windows XP, you would go Start, Accessories, yep. Calculator. Yep, that's what But in what this, do. Um, what do we do? Calculate. Here we go. Oh, well, it looks like an Excel spreadsheet It is me. an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, yep. go. It, although it's not Excel, this is LibreOffice. Okay, well, Calc. I'll try it. Go. What do you want me to calculate? <laughs> um, 470 times 45. Um, okay. 
wait a sec. I'm trying to think of how to do it in a spreadsheet. So I'd do 470. Then... Um, Wouldn't you prefer to use a calculator application that looks like a calculator? Or would you prefer to use oh, a spreadsheet? That's another one. What? Um... I think I'd really rather use a calculator. Well, how about you find a calculator? But this to me looks like a normal spreadsheet. I just have to learn how to do all the little things there. Oh, no, now I've got to close. Okay, well, I've learned that you... Yeah, can closing's that. easy. Do you want to save? Discard. No. Okay. Well, it's not... It's not that. Even though it says calculator, it's not that. LibreOffice, but you can see that it's that kind Some of like spreadsheet look. See that green yep. look and... System set workplace. Oh, I don't think I'm going to find it. I know what I'm going to do. I'll just Google calculator. Okay, you can do that, yes, but let me tell you how you should do it. <laughs> um, by the way, there's your document on your desktop. Do you yep. like the way things on your desktop look? Yeah, fine. What no about problem. the fact that it's not gridded? What do you mean? You know on your real desktop how it would... Oh, don't press too hard on that. How it would usually snap to a location... Mum, right. that would kind of snap. These are free. So you they can just snap. put them anywhere. You can, put, you can overlap them if you wanted to. Why would you want to overlap them? Not that them? you'd want to, but yeah. the fact is that it's anywhere. So you, I see. Do you like that or do you prefer it to be snapped to in a grid um, shape? Look. Well, that was automatically overlapping that, which I didn't like. So I think I'd rather the snap thing because with the snap thing, yeah, it's not it going to overlap. overlap yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what you would actually do is, if you come over here to the side, there's called the Software Center. Oh, okay. And this contains, oh, you let can me get a bunch of now. applications. And See, where I'll would these up. applications normally be? Do you have to download them from the Apple Store or something? Oh, no, these are all applications just for a bunch of you. You can't get them on any... Where do you get them? Uh, does it would it come with it? Yeah, this comes with. See, this is a bunch of software oh, center. Okay. So all so a all bunch of, of users things. just click that, and if they ever want any programs, they go here, and it's got them all for them. They don't have to look for download buttons on the internet and everything. Okay, well I'm going to do a search calculator. Calculator. Enter. Let's see. And there we go. There's a calculator and calculator. Lots of different calculators you I'm can download. I'm going to do that one. Uh, maybe I have to double click it. It's, it's already installed. installed. That's pretty fast, isn't it? I thought all those things were installed, so they're not. They're no, just these are things for, you to, for you to install, yes. Oh, but once it is installed, if I was to use it at a later date, it would already be there. Yeah. And I could make it an icon? Yeah. Okay. So you could, like, literally make it an icon. Yep. But now that it's installed, where is it in your programs? Okay. Um, well, let me close this off. So, where would it be? You can try and actually click stuff if you want. You don't have to just cursor over it or be scared to click stuff. Just don't click install no, a bunch of you. I know, of. I know. I'm just... wonder if it's added it somewhere there. Also, no, you know how you have there. to defrag your computer every now and then? You never have to defrag. A bunch of you will not fragment your computer. I'm not exactly... Which is better for your hard... Okay, that's the software centre where that's you That's where get you get things. them. Yeah, that's where you get but them. where do they go once you've got them? Um, wait a sec, home. Maybe it's at... There it is, calculator. Oh. All your applications like that. Oh, okay. Well, I just stumbled across that. Do you like that? Okay, well, what did and you want me to calculate? 470 times yep. 65. Time. The number keeps on changing every time. 65 but... equals... There, there we go, you easy. Go. Now turn the computer off. Okay, well, first of all, close everything. Um... Okay. Oh, wait a sec. Shut down. There it is. Easy. Ah. And then, do you want to turn it off? Yeah. Yep. Done. Done. Perfect. Do you like a bunchy? Yeah, even though I'm a first time user, it was logical enough for me to be able to navigate without having to read a great big instruction manual on how to use it. So that's good. And the fact that your hard drive won't get fragmented ever? You yep. can take it with you anyway. Just if you've got your USB, put it in anyone's computer. With all the applications that I would normally use. It's if you try to put Microsoft Word on that. Yeah. It won't work, but it's got alternatives that are almost identical to every single application what you would ever use. What if somebody emailed me a Microsoft Word document? How could I view it on this? It would have a compatibility. Thing.
thing. It would convert it from a Microsoft document to that document. Would it lose any information? It wouldn't lose anything. It would just convert it. Oh, okay. The only difference, if you sent it to them, they would then need to convert it back to a Microsoft Word. So that's the only thing. If you ever do it, you've just got to do the conversion process, which takes 10 seconds. And but it's, it's still easy. That, it's oh, easy I'd to do. It 10 seconds, yeah. Okay. Oh, huge improvement. So, to verse, Windows. verse Windows 8, would Much you better. install this on? This is logical. The the symbols don't even look like hieroglyphics. Um, it's you can navigate and work things out. Mm. The only thing I don't like is the hiding the thing. X button. It doesn't need to be hidden. Mm. I mean, it's there to be used, not to be hidden. Okay. Um, but the Windows 8, I found that. It was just totally illogical. What about the fact that Windows 8 is $300 and this is free? Well, <laughs> there we go. And I mean, if you want to install it, it's as easy as plug that into your computer and click install yeah, a bunch of you and that's no, how you install much it. Much better. I like this one so much better. Uh, Windows 8 was even a step backwards to this. It mm. was like cartoonish and, and childish almost. Okay. Not to mention the fact you really do need to read a and whole stack of And what year would you say Windows 8 existed? Well, I know that it's new, but if I was... I mean, what year does it look like, it if you've never like seen it? If I'd never seen it, I would think it was one of the first operating systems. What because year, Because it's though? very cartoonish. What year? I don't know. Um, the 90s. Okay. And what year does this operating system look like it was? This looks like a modern one. Okay. Yeah. Good. So much better. If you were to pay for it, how much would you pay maximum for it? what a op normal operating system would cost, the equivalent of Windows. So about 250 or so? Yeah, but my only issue is the compatibility with other things. I know you have to convert it, but mm. how long does the conversion process take? And yeah, that, just 10 that seconds. Might be a bit fiddly, 10 seconds. Though. And what if there are things that don't convert? What do you do then? What wouldn't convert? Well, by the way, images don't need to be converted. Videos don't need to be converted. Right. It's just the documents. And the programs, you can't install, you can't go out, buy Microsoft Office. Instead, you have to get your free programs. Okay. No, it's so it's all free. Okay. So it's all Finish. free. Have enough. See ya.